And it's time to begin to do my reading for this month. Uh, the first book that I will be reading is The Lonely Hours by Shannon Morgan. It comes in my box. And it has, let me see, it has a signed bookmark, a description, or readers like the author thing. It has a a paper mark or paper whatever you call and a sticker related to the book this is conversation with Shannon Morgan that is the author uh, this one comes with three gift and it's called haunted places interesting so I have one Two and three, and all of them are kind of this 75 and this 88, so they're kind of close. I will remove the dust jacket. Oh, look at the Jingyang uh, um, interior. Jingyang interior, really nice. And I will save this so it doesn't get bad. And I will begin to read this book. Ooh, look at this. So nice. Ooh. Well, we will see how it's going with this book. I hope it's really nice and I <laughs> can finish this book. Let's do it. Just a really quick um, update of how it's going with my reading. I began reading in the lonely hours. Um, it's interesting. It has like two parallel stories going on, one in the past and one in the present. But it's really nice, and I will be reading my notes. I made my TBR planner here <laughs> so things that I wanted to remember is is a mother and daughter that uh, received the news that the mother inherited a, a castle in Edinburgh and what it makes more weird is like she's an orphan <laughs> so they discovered that she's related to all this family she's the last member and the only way that they got this information is uh, with some DNA that they rec they collect. The daughter convinced her to go to spend a week in the castle to see what is what they got. Um, the mother is between yes and no. She has a simple work and everything. Her husband died. It doesn't say when he died, but it's just the two of them. But the daughter convinced her to go and see that castle with the it took forever to arrive to the castle it's very spooky and already got the idea that something is going on um let me see uh, it's a legend that a uh, big diamond was also lost in the castle and the daughter is convinced that they want to find that uh, they found a Cameron, that is a guy that was living using the castle as a home too because it was abandoned and of course he offered to pay it and everything but they say no we will just stay anyway they are not planning to stay for a long time and 
so far it's feeling good it's not bad but i will tell you that i got the two gifts that comes in the book and i will show it you right now okay the first one It's a the student pick up an icing brush and against the skin. The frame tumbled to the floor. It was a picture frame. And I was expecting oh a picture frame here. And this is the size. <laughs> so a picture frame. Ah oh, this is what I got. What a frame. Magnetic. So it's something that you can put on the rough ridge there, I guess. But you cannot even open this. So, no idea. Interesting, but kind of pointless, to be honest. That was. And the second one. Eddie switch uh, on the light against and laid with the covers down on her chin and I got this more than a cover or a blanket you say Eddie's blanket but he's actually like a carpet very rough, no good for laying down. It's kind of cute, but sadly, I don't have work to put these. So, so far, that is. And I have one last gift that we will leave, leave for later. I am in page 116, and they have this. And they found a secret passage in the castle and they are walking and then they hear a noise and remember they are in Scotland so I'm thinking let's see where we go so good but okay I am to report that I finished this book and I think it was amazing I think I'm giving four and a half stars I didn't give five because it was a lot of cursing but the good thing is like because the mother and the daughter you know the mother was telling the daughter to stop cursing in some point she gave up anyway um the end was amazing I couldn't guess the, the end uh, to know who was the mother of her and the reason of all the ghosts and what was the big secret they have to find a diamond that was missing and finally um, she got it and in page 304 is almost at the end of the book as you can see is when they get the diamond that was hiding I will not say where I will not say where it was hiding in case that somebody has the book but is when you have the last gift and it's the diamond it's like a little pin to put in cloth you know very delicate um, not something that I will wear who knows I can make it like a I don't know, maybe I will give away. But it comes in a little box, a nice cute box. So, my first book for the month is done. And I'm beginning to read my second book. That is Autumn by the Sea. is a romantic seasonal book. 
and also I download one of these oops, oh, comic books from my library I don't know if you can see it's Archie and I um, I read only yeah, when I am in bed I am in page 116 of oh, 224 I don't know if you can see with the reflection anyway I like these are very clean uh, comics and it helps me a lot when I'm in bed and I don't want to go with my book and I don't have light um, this one I'm just beginning and coincidence it's about, about another orphan that she was coming back from work and some guy is following her and is she kind of tried to escape from him and she didn't know why this guy was following but it finished being a private detective and tell her that I, he thinks that he she is the daughter of the person that he is doing the investigation the private investigation that's all that I have <laughs> I'm still working on my reading journal as you can see I keep marking what books I'm reading and how far I am and it's interesting at the same time I'm adding all that description of the book like I used to do and it's really fun so that's how it's going now I will go to read a little more I will leave this for later it's a really fun one morning I came to do an update of my book it's a little very early four in the morning I have to go to work but I read this book so fast First I began like very slow, it was not going, it was hard for me to begin and then after page 11 it picked up and it went on and on and I couldn't stop. I've been sick for 11 days and reading I think is the way that I went through also but in two days I went from being like these to finish everything it was amazing um, the first days I was reading just a little and then falling asleep then the last two days it was like boom everything done anyway this one is the story about um, a lady that was working in Chicago and um, just as a waitress and just trying to survive day by day she was an orphan and she has a foster brother that always got in troubles always in troubles I my face looks kind of weird here well you know I was a little bit anyway um we'll do this while I'm getting ready um well, she was coming back from work when she wasn't working. Uh, she noticed that a guy was looking at her and trying to, and keeping an eye on her. So she was kind of suspicious. When she was going home, noticed that the guy is following her and follow us until the, the apartment, etc. When anyway, I finished being a private detective that was looking the daughter or the granddaughter of a lady that lives in Maine, I think is the name, I don't know if I say it right. And uh, he has a lot of little tips that shows that um, she was maybe the, that missing daughter, uh, granddaughter. That, what happened is like, this, the, the foster, what do you call this? I'm not sure, I'm so sure. This lady used to adopt a lot of kids after something that happened in her life. She didn't she didn't have kids, so she adopted kids and one of the kids that she adopted, um, Diana, died in an accident in the coast close to like going home and she had a baby and they never found the baby, so she was suspicious that the baby is still alive. So she followed different tips. She already had the deception to have 
two other girls that they say that maybe were the granddaughter and they never and they weren't so she keeps like hurting herself trying to find her anyway um a lot of the tips really coincide with her um sydney that is the main character here and she decided to go and visit this family that lives in this beautiful house and they have a blueberry farm and a lot of things begin to develop there is romance there is mystery mm, I don't want to give too many tips about the book because it's exciting to read um, it has a lot of Catholic Christian uh, religious uh, things that I love in the book. They talk about God's will, they talk about Bible, all that kind of things that are important and it makes you love the book more. Uh, I will not say if she is or not a daughter. I will say that it's a very happy ending and um, I love it. I. I, it's so cozy that makes you really want to be in that place M makes you want to be with this family makes you have that life I don't know it's not like a fancy life or something but it's really amazing more when you have this kind of uh, family that is so together and so close to God I really love that so I think it's a very good book to read I give four and a half a star on uh, I don't know why I didn't give it five maybe because I always try to find that amazing book but this was, was good and I know that is two more books it's like a series for now I will not read the other ones I like to just keep jumping from one to another but very good so then I try to read this. That is the third one. And um, I couldn't, I couldn't. Um, I think I have too much or my mind is more in the this other kind of food that are more kind of really just a romantic or mystery, whatever you want. But when a book goes too fast in um, the steps of somebody meeting a guy and then finish sitting between the legs of a guy in a few minutes is like things just happen in that way or at least not for me I don't think it's the kind of behavior that I like but it is me don't take me wrong I'm sure this book is good it's just in this step of my life I don't know too much in this quick relationships and stuff and um, I think I will have to pass on that so I began to read I downloaded um, from my library one of the books of Nancy Drew and, uh, and number two because number one was not available and I'm reading that I'm on page 30 I think it's a short book I think it's like 186 pages but I'm in page 30 already so for now this that I still need to do a card inspiring any of these two books and I think I have an idea what I will do. So I'll let you know how it's going.
when I came to the end of this reading blog. Um, Frost is with me. I know what he wants. And here we go. No, yes. We go and sit outside to read in my candles and enjoy it of the sunset. I want to say that these two books were amazing. I really enjoyed this. was really good. I hope I explained it good. The same with these. Sorry, I mean, in the beginning it was really good. Having fun. And then I got sick. I kind of slowed down on my reading. Then again, I got faster. And I got good. This one, I have to clean. I explain it why. And I will be giving away to somebody. So my other challenge was to... And because it was my third book, I decided to read uh, Nancy Drew, The Hidden Staircase. It's the number two of the series. I think they are like 73. I never read Nancy Drew before. I think I enjoy it. It was good. It's not a big book. It's 186 pages or something like that. While I was reading the other two physical books, I also read Archie and the Camp, uh, Camp Stories or something. It was uh, 180 page, 200 and something pages and it was really fun, you know, something quick. Um, my challenge was to make a card or something like that and I made this about the book The Lonely Hours when Neve, that is the daughter of the main character, began to try to solve the problem about the ghost and the rat ghost and everything. It was really fun. So that was my reading blog. I read actually enough for how many days I have like just falling asleep all the time. I hope you enjoyed and I will be filming my TBR for October. I don't know if I can do it today. I'm so tired. I will do it tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about these reading blogs. If they are too boring, I will try to make better. Have a good day.